Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Pastor Nat here from Back to the Bible, and I want to say thank you for joining me on Christmas Day to engage in our five-minute Bible teaching. Today, you will want to pay special attention because we are going to talk about the greatest gift we've ever received. Matthew 2.9 says, After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. These wise men knew to follow the light of the star. The star was their guide to find the Messiah, the Savior. They knew it might lead them over desert, over mountains, through streams, but those obstructions didn't matter. They were just part of the journey when following the star. Just like the star was the guide for the wise men, so too Jesus Christ is our light and our guide for life. If you read the Gospels, eight times Jesus is recorded saying, follow me, follow me. Eight times Jesus declares himself as the one that we must follow as his people. We are called to say no to ourselves and say yes to Jesus and his calling. In John 8, 12, Jesus would say, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So many people today feel that following Jesus is restrictive. It's oppressive. It's contrary to our desires. Now it's true. It is contrary to our desires. Our natural desires are bent for total selfishness, for self-destruction. But to say it's restrictive and oppressive, I actually say wrong. I believe it's actually liberating. I think it's freeing to follow Jesus. When we follow Christ as our guide in life, it's freeing. In fact, Jesus said that he came so that people might have life. But not just life, life to the fullest. That's the life of following Christ. But what's the result of a life of following Christ? Look at Matthew 2.10. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. You see, when they saw the star, they rejoiced. They celebrated. They knew it was leading them to their salvation, to the thing that they've longed for, peace with God. They'd been longing for salvation, for hope, hope eternal. And Jesus Christ, the light, he would bring them that true joy. Today, Jesus is still the light and is still the true source of our joy. But in order to experience joy, you must first be alive. You have to be alive because dead things can't experience joy because, well, <laughs> they're dead. Ephesians 2 tells us that once you were dead because of your trespasses and sins. You see, whether we like it or not, we are all born spiritually dead. You can't experience true joy, that true peace, because you're dead apart from Christ. And here's the reality. Dead people, they can't bring themselves back to life. They need a Savior. They're sinners, truly dead in their sins. There are two kinds of people today. Those who admit that they're spiritually dead in need of a savior, and those who refuse to admit that they're spiritually dead. For those of us who admit that we are spiritually dead, there is no greater gift than the gift the world received that first Christmas day. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. We were all dead in our trespasses and in our sins, but God in his love for us, he offers us freely a gift of life through the light of the world, Jesus Christ. That is the true message of Christmas. Luke 2.11 says, born this day to you in the city of David, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. 
God in his great love for us sent Jesus Christ to earth 2,000 years ago to save us from our sins. He sent Christ to bring us from death to life, from life in the darkness to life in the light, from a life of slavery to sin to a life of freedom in Christ, and that is a life to the fullest. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of you. Today, because of Jesus Christ, the true light, you can experience true joy and peace with God and with each other. But you have to admit that you're spiritually dead, that you're a sinner in need of a savior. Admit this and receive God's gift of Jesus Christ. Believe, believe that Jesus Christ came into this world and lived a perfect life. Believe that he died on the cross for your sins and that he was buried and that he rose again. God offers you this gift of salvation freely if you choose to receive it. You see, this is why we celebrate Christmas. This is what Christmas is all about. Merry Christmas. Hey, thanks for joining me today. If you found today's discussion helpful, please leave a review and share this podcast with your friends on social media. Plus, if you're like most of us, maybe you're struggling today, don't worry, you're not alone. I would love to help. So download our app called Go Tandem. Check out Go Tandem and let us help you win the day.